Okay, Petra wanted broccoli. And she mixes up yellow and green. So she doesn't want green broccoli or yellow broccoli if I'm on the track here. And, and even, you know what, if I have to do them all, whatever. Uh, she doesn't want yellow or green broccoli, and she didn't want tomatoes, so no red. So if it's not yellow, green, or red, it has to be blue. And yes, this is what used to drive my teachers nuts. How about that? Blue broccoli. Hi, Thomas. Why don't you do this pizza for me, Thomas Cat? You could. You could do a pizza for Daddy. Daddy needs a pizza. Thomas likes pizza. I don't think he likes blue broccoli. Okay, what the hell does Peter want? Okay, Peter mixes up red and green and wants blueberries. So he doesn't want red or green blueberries. But he doesn't want bananas, so he doesn't want yellow. So that would be blue blueberries, which can't be right. So what colors don't we have? We don't have red and yellow yet. So obviously the bananas can't be yellow and the, what you call the blueberries can't be... Wait, what do we have left? We had red and yellow. So the blueberries... Blueberries either need to be yellow or red. The bananas have to be red because or could they be blue? No, blue's taken, green's taken. The bananas have to be red because they can't be yellow because they're already yellow. So the blueberries have to be red. Or wait, no. So we've used up green and blue. So no more blue, no more green. So we have yellow and red yet. Bananas cannot be yellow because they are yellow. Bananas have to be red. Okay. Now, the only color we have not How about used... That? Red bananas. Because the these aren't here for fun. It's not going to be yellow on two items. So the only color we have not used is yellow. And... How about that? He said yellow we could blueberries. use... He said we could use this crap as many times as we wanted to. So, go, oh my god. That'd make a dog throw up. Well, dogs throw up anyway. Okay, back to the RPG. Role-playing game, for those of you that don't. And I'm having to pet a cat while we do this, so... And we have to walk down the hall to find the door. To the role-playing round, and... The role-playing round needs to be really easy after this flippin' pizza. Okay, pizza. Green tomato. Green tomatoes. Uh, blue broccoli. I mean, you open back up. Blue broccoli. Blue broccoli. Uh, red bananas. Red bananas. And, uh, oh, yellow blueberry. <laughs> yellow blueberries. Oh, that's just nasty as hell. So, I don't think restrictions apply. Oh, they're all smiling now. Even old druggle butt. Okay, let's set aside the pizza. Hopefully it will hold up and we can give it to... The Grand Master Wizard, or what? Oh, Dungeon Master, Dungeon Master. Oh, what the pizza! Oh, God, please be right. Well then. Please be right. Mmm, superb, superb. Achievement Great. unlocked. Pizza time. I wish time. I were as good on the phone as you. Druggle jug. And Peter is satisfied too. Satisfied? How could I be satisfied <laughs> in such a world in which the only moments worth living for are those when the pizza arrives with the right toppings? means yes. We owe you one. Peter almost starved to death. It's not that bad. I've already lost all hope of dying honorably anyway. Druggle jug. Well said. Now that the food is taken care of, oh, let God. us begin the game. Don't you want to play too, sweetie? You'll see. It'll be incredibly fun. 
If you take pleasure in such excessive self-degradation. Evidently I do. I'm a dice cop. Struggle jump. Uh-huh. So be it. Then follow us into the world of Hoth. Oh, are we, are we going to her subconscious or is this another... Oh my Morgan god. has set up camp near the infamous Goblin Gorge. Lily found herself in a clearing. The campfire was crackling and the wind whipped through her clothes. You can hear the war drums <laughs> of the goblins in the distance. That's where we were. This is your last rest before the great battle. Lily did in fact hear drums. An enormous army seemed to be waiting for them in the nearby mountains. Wait, are you telling the story or am I? Uh, wh what? It's just that... I see that you don't have the Dungeon Master screen in front of you. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure that the Dungeon Master is recognized by his Dungeon Master's screen. That's ridiculous. I'm the narrator. I don't need a... Well, then why don't you be the Dungeon Master then? I'm curious how you'll do without any battle value tables or source books. <laughs> what? <laughs> but that's... That's what I thought. And now, move over. Ow! Hey! You can't just... Where was I? Oh, yes. You're here on the orders of the king to drive the goblins from the gorge. There are rumors that the goblins have dammed up the Pink River. This has turned Hothmotagor's most important memorial into a reservoir. The Valley of Unpleasant Memories. Also sitting at the fire is a mysterious local guide. That me? You're tired Lily? from the journey. But sleep is far from your mind. Goblin scouts could be lurking anywhere. The black magician Petrula, the noble <laughs> Sir Dragalot, and the amusing juggler Snippo. I want a different role. Shush! Are gathering their strength for the battle. Only the Amazonian barbarian warrioress Lilligrim. Huh? That's you! Only the Amazonian barbarian warrior Lilligrim is restless. It's your move, Lilligrim. What will you do? Okay, inventory went away, so I don't know if we're in our subco... I guess we're in a group subconscious? How much more meta can you get? Mysterious NPC? Oh, crap! This is a... You know what? Whoa! Oh! I'm sorry. When I played... Uh, I used to play with the kid. I used to play D&D. &D, and I was the DM and the character. Because it was just us. So, we have... We have a dirtbag here. Okay, so the NBC is evil. <laughs> evil NBC. <sighs> oh, what a band of heroes. Well, I'm thinking, I don't know what the hell the gestures did in an RPG. Knight's pretty obvious, and uh, I would think cleric. Although as an NPC, he could be almost anything. Except, of course, he's Harvey. But anyway. <laughs> Did I actually do Roll this or not? Roll charisma, Peter. Do I have to? <sighs> that was to be expected. Snippo is just about the ugliest dope you've ever seen. <sighs> Roll for charisma, Peter. <laughs> wait a minute. So that's Peter and that's... Wait, no, that's Dragalot? I thought... I thought Draghi was too jacked up to be a knight, so that's Peter? I, I probably had this. I just stepped back into the game and I'm confused. Sir Snippo is Peter? Huh, okay. Because of the irony of him being a jester and being depressed. Sir Drugalot looked splendid in his shiny armor. Drugglejug? Mithril armor? Really? Drugglejug. Okay then. In his mithril. 
The narrator translates, uh, what you call it, Droggle Jug. Petrula sat by the fire and watched the tea kettle. Briefly describe yourself. Well, I'm like a totally powerful wizard and pretty, but also totally powerful. And I'm wearing a robe embroidered with gold. And it's totally pretty, you know? Underneath the hood, I look like totally gothy, but pretty. Thanks, Petra. That's enough. I think I like Petra. What about you, mysterious NPC? The hooded figure sat silently at the campfire. Strange. I can't remember him being in the adventure. Oh. Which source book does he come from? Ah, we're not listening to the narrator. The narrator has been pushed aside by the dungeon master. You see a large Ah, poetry. I remember this crap. Roll for perception. You discover a safety valve. <laughs> oh, this is especially fun since the last group I was actually invited to and I rage quit after hours of decks of crap and well you turn over a card, well you turn over another card, well you turn over another card and it's like, you know what, you guys could play this without any of the rest of us. <laughs> and yeah, I did say hours. Role playing games should not involve sitting and reading a book. <laughs> the campfire crackled atmospherically. atmospherically. Where is too bad? I especially burned a CD of campfire sound effects. I must have left them in the fire. Just imagine the crackling. I wish I could remember your name, dumbass. Boy, I got nothing here. I'm, uh... Can I talk to them? Hello, Lilligrim. You're still up? You should get some rest. I'll keep guard. And make sure the fire doesn't go out. <laughs> Don't look so grim. Your thirst for action is honorable. But the mysterious traveler is right. Strength lies in tranquility. Lilligrim felt like screaming at the brave Sir Drogalot. She hadn't traveled all the way to Goblin Gorge just to sleep. But something kept her from losing her temper. Fuming, she turned away from her companion. <laughs> Her eyes fell on the quiet traveler who had listened to the entire conversation. Was that a smile she saw beneath the hood? Ah! Okay, well, we've moved forward into things. Ah, this should be talking. So let's go from this end. <sighs> Are you as tired as I am? Okay, firewood. Um, are you worried about the fire? Yes. Hmm. Usually, I'd agree with you. Those few logs are certainly not enough to keep the fire burning through the night. Plus, the best things always happen to you when you go into the forest looking there you for go. firewood. I've never you find treasure maps, fall into enchanted wells, or meet merchants with magical amulets. Maybe I should. Relax a little and call it a day. That's what you wanted to say, right? Hmm. The traveler is right. There doesn't always have to be an adventure, and the night is pretty warm. I'll wait up to put the last log on the fire. Then I'll turn in, too. <gasps> okay. Don't worry. I'm sure the goblins won't attack us tonight. They're guarding their reservoir dam in the gorge. But I do wonder what their plans are. Damming up the Pink River and flooding the Valley of Unpleasant Memories. Why? It's all very mysterious. We should attack them. Um. Um. I know what you want to say. You're here to fight. Not to sleep, right? Maybe tonight we should. Remain calm and gather our strength. That's what you wanted to say, right? <sighs> the traveler is right. Acting in haste is never a good idea. <laughs> the uh, puzzles have been really annoying. <laughs> if you hadn't noticed, 
So I actually enjoy this a little bit better. What about Snippo? Um, that would be Peter, I guess. Hello, Lily Grim. Would you Hi, like to Peter. be amused by my funny pranks? Yes, I live to be then amused. Then watch me. Uh, and are you amused? Yes, more than you will ever know. Okay, uh, I got a feeling uh, we're going to get the same... Hmm. Uh, those are words Gone? after my own heart. Somehow I guessed that this would be even less entertaining for me than Malefice. I knew it, but no! Ahem! <clears throat> right. It seems that excitement in this exciting world is not wanted. Okay. Can you make a uh, the human genome? <clears throat> yes. It doesn't just look like it. I am actually juggling only one ball, and I know how ridiculous that must seem. My character sheet said that I, <clears throat> I, the comical Snipple, have the marvelous ability to juggle 55 <laughs> balls at once. But as much as I would have liked to imagine what such a thing would look like, the mysterious traveler thought I should just juggle one ball instead, because it's much more contemplative. And as long as my shame or boredom doesn't cause me to spontaneously combust, <laughs> then I'll stick to that. <laughs> if you have a better suggestion... Wait. Oh. Uh, stay with... Wow, well, oh, I didn't... Have no balls. Yes, none of you have... Well, I don't know about Petra. That would not be fair. I think all of you have balls. You're just... I think you ought to go to 55 balls. I have no idea which one of these is the right one to do. <laughs> I understand. You want to see the trick with the 55 balls? I have to disappoint you. The Traveler thinks it's too hectic. And apparently this game is about fulfilling the obscure wishes of <laughs> randomly appearing cowl wearers. <sighs> At least this game is sticking to the book. Free walls. <laughs> hmm. Maybe I'd feel a little less stupid if I try it with three balls for a while. Yes. <clears throat> On the other hand, I'm a clown called Snippo, and I have a penchant for ridiculous hats. It's probably part of the role that I feel no, like a moron. No, that was with a pill. Hello. <laughs> you have you no balls. You think I should try it without any balls? Bravo. You found the only way to increase my boredom. <laughs> <laughs> On the other hand, if I juggle without a ball, I might be able to take a quick nap. No one seems to object to sleeping around here. So I guess he's done. Uh, I would have liked to have heard the goblin and all that, but I, uh, the goblin gorge in the fight, but I think it would have turned out the same. What do you got for me, Petrula, baby? Um, don't startle me like that! <laughs> <laughs> 